Hello mọi người Hello mọi người, chào mọi người đã quay lại với channel của Tiên Và hôm nay thì uh, Tiên và Kyle đã Tiên có hỏi trên Instagram của Tiên rất là nhiều về Q&A Và hôm nay tụi mình sẽ làm một cái dạng là couple tag và Q&A Trả lời những câu hỏi của mọi người ở trên Instagram Và video này sẽ không phải là một video tiếng nói tiếng Việt Nhưng mà sẽ là một video tiếng Speak English Lưu ý mọi người là video này sẽ có việc sub Cho nên là mọi người nếu mà mọi người muốn uh, coi việc sub Thì mọi người hãy bấm vô cái CC ở bên dưới Nó sẽ có cái chữ caption Để cho True. mọi người nha yeah. Rồi ok 1, 2, 3 What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel <cười> So I ask you guys um, <coughs> A lot of questions on Instagram And I receive a lot of answers Honey You mean you receive a lot of questions? Answers. Huh? Oh, questions. <laughs> <laughs> I re okay, she received a lot of answer, guys. You choose one. I choose one? Okay, 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 okay. Dude, this is a lot. So the question is, uh, chị có bị phân biệt chủng tộc khi đi du học không? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, are people, are people, are people like racist in uh, the US towards us? So I'll let you answer that. Me? I mean, if you want to answer that. No, I'll answer first and then you answer. Okay, okay, okay. Sure. So for me, it's not really like I don't I don't see any like that much of races in America. I don't know about the rest of like Asian community there, but like personally, for me, not really. Yeah, I mean, like same for me as well. Like, are people racist? Towards me in America, I wouldn't say like a hundred percent no, mm -hmm. but uh, you know, like the the chance of it happening mm -hmm. is really low. Cause I do have a lot of like friends that are not Asian. Mm -hmm. Like I do have like black friends. I have Hispanic friends. I hang out with white people as well. So like you know, like it's it's really rare to to experience something like that and like i could just say that uh you know like the only the only like time that it actually happened is when you know people ask like oh well, like oh are you chinese like are you something oh else? yeah yeah they they like because i think all americans think that asians are, are chinese. chinese so yeah. they just like oh are you chinese oh, oh well, where are you from chinese yeah. korea korea so you know yeah. like people are, mm -hmm. some people are just ignorant like they just think you know like yeah you're asian so you has to, like you have to be chinese yeah, yeah, yeah. but beside that it's dude it's not a lot yeah. second one cách nào đã chị chấp nhận xa gia đình uh, để đi du học vậy ạ Tại em cũng muốn đi nhưng em sợ nhớ gia đình okay. <cười> How do you prepare to uh, be away from your family? For me uh, Probably because My first year I have my boyfriend I have my friend And I have my brother So like Honestly I don't really miss home Like mm. I, I feel like I, I was fine yeah. I was like 100% fine i didn't cry i didn't like oh my god i want to go back or anything like that because like i have kyle because home's right here no i have <laughs> i have my brother and then i have shane too we're all living together so like for yeah. me it's 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 fine going back to answer your questions how do you prepare to be able to like be away from your families uh, when you go study abroad so my my answer for you is um, you know just just suck it up like honestly just be strong because like your family is always gonna be there for you but your time in college is a time for you to develop yourself and to like do whatever you like do what you love so just have the mentality that you know you Eventually, you will have to be away from your families. If you want an independent life, and yeah. you want to be independent, you want yet you don't want to like rely on your family. This is your chance. Yeah. Cause that's how I became this independent woman. I did. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Mm -hmm. I, I see, see a lot of IELTS and TOEFL. I'll I'll just combine all the uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. the IELTS questions. And so the SAT too. Yeah, I see a lot of SAT questions. I see a lot of IELTS. So basically, how do me and Tian prepare 
for IELTS, how do we learn basically English in general mm -hmm. and uh, where did we learn it. So um, first one, where did we learn it? So I know we learned it in uh, Yola. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's, it's funny because like, I, like you, you guys know Yola, right? So if you don't, then like just Google it. Mm -hmm. But it's like a, a, an institute to learn TOEFL, IELTS, and uh, SAT in mm -hmm. Vietnam. And uh, the funny thing is, like, we took, we both took it together, but we didn't same, learn shit. Same class. No, because we were like a lot of our friends were in the same class, and and what we did was like, I don't know, we were just talking, yeah, I, I and mean, then. Like, we're just fucking around. Like oh we didn't God. really study. We, like I, I'm, I'm like being honest. Like I never studied for my SAT. And it was no, but SAT was the freaking hardest test I've ever taken in my life. Yes. Yeah, so SAT is really like, hard. Like really, like the reading. Yeah. TOEFL, TOEFL and IELTS, I guess is easier. Mm -hmm. So um, for me, I think I learned my. I didn't. No, I didn't learn anything about IELTS. I think. Basically, no, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't, yeah, we didn't learn IELTS, so we, we learned know. TOEFL. Yeah, and then because we learned TOEFL, like when we took the IELTS exam, it's pretty similar. Like it's not that hard. IELTS is okay. Did you take? I did took my IELTS. IELTS. Yeah. Oh, I have. Oh no. Okay, so no, I took okay. my IELTS. So I think without oh, really? without study. studying, I got a seven. Oh, no, no, uh, nine. Yeah. No, no, no. Was it nine? Nine. Yeah. Nine. Yes. So I got a seven oh, out of that's nine. Good. So. so TOEFL is not hard to me personally. I mean, I didn't get like a hundred. I get ninety. I got ninety. Yeah. Yeah. I got ninety, but um, the school required like eighty. Like most of the school in the states re require the TOEFL test to be like eighty. So like SAT is not a must, but TOEFL is a must. Yeah. To all all the schools. I think for TOEFL, I got like eighty nine. I got eighty nine too. Yeah. I rounded up. <laughs> oh, she Hi. rounded it up! <laughs> wow. <laughs> but I know, like for SAT, like dude, my my SAT score was really. Oh, mine was fifteen hundred yeah. out of twenty four hundred. Yeah, same. Mine was around that range. Ooh. I think. Like you have to buy more books and read, and that's it. See, the the whole point of SAT is to help you. You know, it's it's basically like a wall that you need to pass to get into like American college. Oh my God. You don't use anything related to SAT in college. Yo. You don't. My school doesn't even require SAT. Yeah, like you know all of the freaking vocabs that you have to learn, like all of the crazy Dude, ass it's vocab. it's so hard. You like... don't use it at all. <laughs> Who the fuck use all of those words? <laughs> like, for real. So like, it's so hard. You no, maybe we, we, we don't. You don't really need to put like. We don't. Like you don't, I, I don't know. Like it really depends on the person, you know. If you want to get into like Ivy Leagues, no, or, probably Ivy Leagues. You need SAT. Yeah, of course. Yeah, like Ivy top, Leagues. like top. I, I don't know, top fifty, top yeah. thirty. Yeah, you need SAT because they like consider your SAT so much. Yeah, like the Ivy Leagues, but like our level is not but that. I, don't know, I just, I just no. I really think SAT is a waste of time and money. So, uh, yeah. I, I know. But I remember. If, no, but if people want to get into Ivy League, they should. Yeah, I mean, SAT see, if you want to get into high. Ivy League, then yes, you need the yeah. SAT. Mm -hmm. But I, I didn't want to go to Ivy League yeah. school. So my like, dream was to be one, but <laughs> it's hard. It's hard. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, my school was Columbia College, Chicago, and my major was fashion merchandising. So like, um. I I know about this major because of Shane. Was Shane dropped out of school like in the first half of the year cuz she moved to uh, California and I stayed in Chicago. So my major was fashion business. And what's your major? So mine. So I started out with architecture. See, that's why you guys like know that mm -hmm. I don't think SAT is important because you're an architecture major. Why do you need an SAT degree? Like, I think it depends on your major and it depends on like your school. Yeah. That's what I, I So think. I, I started out with architecture and then after my first year I switched to IT. So now I'm mm. doing IT. So a lot of people ask, um, do we get into like school with uh, scholarships? Scholarship or not or like just oh. um, pay the 
the like the actual amount the actual like amount. The, the international amount. so my school doesn't have scholarship at all for international student yeah so you, you just can't have scholarship there because mm -hmm. but like all the past school that i applied like the paul university loyola mm -hmm. they gave me um scholarship around twelve thousand to thirteen thousand so yeah. like that's like a different school but mm -hmm. my school pers personally don't give out scholarship Sorry. same i know like for uic you you can really apply for okay, um, what's the full name of uic university of illinois at chicago mm -hmm. so like um uh, my school doesn't have scholarships for international students mm -hmm. uh but i know you could apply for one like after like a year or two if you really need it but <laughs> Like if you're start out fresh in America, like yeah, they don't they don't give you any scholarships. What's your one tip for all the audience watching here applying to school in America? Like, oh. like, cause they ask a lot. They were like, okay. uh, I'm so scared. I don't know what's gonna be like in America. I don't know what like the school is gonna be like, and like all the like you know homework and all that. Oh. Test. Okay, I think the best tip that I could give you guys like if you're moving to america for for college just build your network go hang out with people don't look for vietnamese like mm -hmm. honestly i know a lot of people go over That's there true. look for vietnamese to hang out because they feel comfortable no but like your english is never gonna be good yeah. never see like when i first moved to the u.s to chicago like my english was not good even <laughs> though like i even though like I start studying English since grade one, even before grade one. But like we live in Vietnam. Yeah, so, so we since we live in Vietnam, we, we still speak Vietnamese and like our English is not fluent. Mm -hmm. Compared to now, like I got my English because when I moved over there, I don't hang out with Viets. I hang out with everyone else besides Vietnamese. Therefore, like after like three, four years, your accent just starts to change. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like people like came up to me and they're like, How's your English so good? Like, you speak like a native. And I'm like, yes, because I only talk to natives. Yeah, because a lot of people were like, I, I really want to speak English, like, good, like, fluently. Yeah. But I don't know how to. So do you have some tips? Like, okay. so that's one of the tips. Another tip for you, if you don't hang out with, with like, people that are rather than Vietnamese, yeah. you can watch TV shows, movies, in English like That's all true. the shows like at first you you can have subtitles but then when you like understand more just like put out the subtitles mm -hmm. and just like watch it and then you will get so much better like cuz a lot of people don't speak English every day but like they watch it every day yeah. and they learn it from it so that's why their English is like in Improve a lot. That's true. Like, you know, like beside movies, you know, you have YouTube's. Mm -hmm. Dude, there's so many vi videos in English. Like, anything that's related to your hobby. Let's say you like you like games, so you watch people streaming. So instead of watching a Vietnamese stream, you watch like a and you know a person in the U.S. that streams and they speak English. That's how you learn. Like, mm -hmm. if you hear something for a long period of time, you develop that sense and that, that language a lot of people are afraid that if they speak english not that good in america people will make fun of them like that's a lot of people think so, so especially much. in class yeah like when you raise your hand and then you're not american or mm -hmm. like you're not fluently in the english like yeah yeah but then like you know like it goes back to the the answer that if you don't if you're so scared that mm -hmm. people are making fun of you you can never improve. You, you never try and if you don't try you don't improve yeah. if you don't improve then well you know you know the outcome of it but yeah potentially that's that's that couple tag a fun part so we prepared 10 questions five from kyle and five from me yeah. and we're gonna ask if we're having the same mind Hey, so basically we'll we'll see if we uh, we know enough about each other. About us, yeah, not each other. <sighs> about us. <laughs> hey, why are you speaking Viet? I thought you said you want to improve your English. <laughs> Sorry, my English is bad. <laughs> True. <laughs> my face. Hi. Oh my God! Wow. 
what is our dream house? Oh, fuck. Our dream, like, if we get married, what, 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 where do you want to live in? So, like, you are you asking the type of house? The or? type of house. Three, two, one. Penthouse. Penthouse. Okay. I freaking knew it. So, my, my question <laughs> for us is, where is our first date? Ooh, easy. Easy? Yeah. Well, I don't think Three, you remember. Two. Three, two, one. Hard rock. Hard rock. Oh my god, honey! It's, yeah. it's easy. That's eight eight years ago, guys. Dude, that was so long ago. 2013. How many kids do we want? Oh, fuck. We're talking about kids. <laughs> Three, two, one. Two. two. Okay. 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 So, what was our favorite TV show to watch in the U.S. when we lived together? TV show? Yeah. Three, two. One running, running man. man. Yeah! <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. Woo! What was our favorite chicken place in Chicago? Oh, easy. Three, two, one. Chris. <laughs> Anyone in Chicago? I no, a lot of our viewers are from Chicago. Really? Yeah, you yo, guys yo, texted yo, yo, me yo. a lot. If you guys are from <laughs> Chicago, dude, it's Chris, my, it's my city, bro. <laughs> go to go to Chris for chicken like korean fried chicken i swear to jesus bro like best hands down best chicken place i ever eaten in, in my life like no, that's worldwide true. that's true i don't see well, why you haven't been to a lot of i do cities. been to no, a lot of places up. have you ever been to europe i don't freaking think so <laughs> honey yeah that's what i thought <laughs> <laughs> chicago on like Chicago, <laughs> go to Chicago niece, Saigonese. Uh, yeah, we got Saigonese. No control. Chicanese. <laughs> now, uh, jokes are aside, but you know, if you have the chance to go to Chicago, try out Crisp. It's so good. It's, I think it's on Broadway Take some Street. Photos and send it to us. Yeah. What Wait. is our favorite dessert place in Chicago? <laughs> Honey, way. No, there are a lot of desserts. How I don't know. Happen? What is our favorite one? Something like, the place, the place, the, the cake one? What, what was it? No, what was, the, what was the name? Whoa, 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 whoa. What was the name? Whoa, 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 whoa. The cake whoa. I don't know. See, if you don't, if she doesn't remember it, it means it no, doesn't. I remember. No, you don't. You don't. Hey, three, two, one. Fire, fire cake. cake. <laughs> That's so lame, bro. I, I promise you guys, we didn't fake this shit. No, okay, this is hard. How many states? Did we travel together? I don't even remember. Why did I ask the question? Go. Three, two, one, five. five. Which one? This oh, <laughs> is it. Girl, I, I just said a random number. No, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, I, I remember we Ch went to Cali. Illinois. Illinois. We, st we lived in Illinois. I mean, like, it's still one. Illinois. Illinois. No, we no, no travel. We still travel there. We live here, bitch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Illinois. Fine, Illinois. Cali. Um, New York, New York, Texas, Texas, Washington, Washington. No, we went Washington. to Delaware, Washington State. Oh, we went to Virginia, Philadelphia. Philadelphia, Philadelphia. Oh my God, wait, we went to a lot. Washington DC. Yeah. So okay, we got that wrong. Wait, so how many states we went Nine. together? Nine. So we said five. God damn it. Nine. I, I legit. I went remember. to um two more, three more, but not with Kyle. Where was our second anniversary dinner place? Second? Second anniversary. Anniversary dinner place. Someday we've had. Anniversary? Yeah, dude. Second, Naza? Second dinner place. Second anniversary. Second year of dating? Oh, no shit. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I remember. Okay. Three, two, two one. one. Now nah. <laughs> What? I said the lock. <laughs> oh, it was the lock. Yeah, and she she said she remembers everything. But wow. Yeah, the lock. Bro. Oh, it's the lock. The, the yeah. picture we took. Yes. Wow. <gasps> the last yeah. last question. Oh wait 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 wait. So the the loser has to buy the winner like sneakers. What the fuck is that? <laughs> no. <laughs> when was the first time that we talked? Like ever. First time that I talked to you when? Um. Three. One. IT. Sophomore. IT. You, you didn't say it like... Like when? What? Yeah, what? sophomore year. Sophomore year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
happen when? What do you mean? Why, like the occasion? Yeah, I T. Why? <laughs> Why the occasion? Why? You? She borrowed my headphones. Oh, okay. She was like, "Can I borrow your headphones?" <laughs> I was like, "Bitch, who the fuck are you?" <laughs> we were classmates. Yeah, she was so weird. She kept like looking at me, like she wanted to talk to me for so long. No, I didn't. Not the person back <laughs> then. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it was so ugly, now. <laughs> Uh, sorry, you were like the, the the coconut hair. Yeah, you're pretty with your red hair. Of course. What are you I talking know. about? She was a dancer. <laughs> I'm still a dancer. <laughs> okay, so the last question is, um, how many how many subway stops does it take to get from her old place to my dorm? Okay. Three, two, one, five. Four. Four. It's five. See, I remember Washington. Dude, I don't go this, I, this I don't route care. every day. Washington, Monroe, dude, Monroe, Monroe Jackson, Jackson Lasalle, Clinton, Clinton, UIC. Don't worry. It's five. <laughs> you started in your, your. I know. I only lived see? there for a year. I don't know. So uh, I hope we answered quite a lot of your questions for um, you know studying abroad and like applying to. Uh, schools College. in America and all that. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, if you guys like this kind of video with us speaking in English, please comment down below for me for us to know. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Please follow us on Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube. Bye. Yes, sir. Peace out. <laughs>